Welcome. I'm Jennifer Vigran, CEO of Second Helpings, and I'm so pleased to have you join us to celebrate our graduation ceremony for the 136th Culinary Job Training Class. Our graduates today have worked hard under sometimes difficult circumstances. I know that the students join me in offering thanks to the volunteers and staff who have encouraged them along their path and helped to ensure that each graduate is job ready. Today, our graduates can step forward with a new confidence in their skills and abilities. They are ready and able to begin a new career and embrace new opportunities within an industry that is rebounding from the pandemic and ready to hire. Please join me in congratulating today's graduates as they begin this important next step in their journey. Congratulations, Class 136. Hey, it's been seven weeks. It doesn't really seem like it, and you guys have come a long, long way. Um, I'm really proud of you. I just wanted to again say congratulations. Uh, you guys have uh, made tremendous strides in these seven weeks. Um, there's some rough spots, but you guys uh, came up, overcame them and kept going. Uh, and uh, did a great job with line cooking, so I'm extremely proud of you. A um, couple of quotes that I wanted to leave you with. Um, one is that always remember if the plan doesn't work, you change the plan, but never change your goal. Keep that goal and find the right path to get you there. Never, never change your goal. Keep your goal, keep going for that goal, uh, but sometimes you gotta change the way that, that you get there. So. There's nothing wrong with that. And um, one other thing that I think is extremely important to remember as you go out into the food industry, um, that there are no mistakes if you take failure as feedback. So when you're out there in the world, uh, you make a mistake, we all do constantly. We're gonna make mistakes for our entire life. But when you take, uh, take that failure and turn it into feedback and keep growing. Again, congratulations, you guys did an awesome job and I'm proud of every single one of you. And uh, I can't wait to see what the future has in store for you. Uh, please remember to uh, come back to Second Helpings uh, after you're out there in the world and maybe you can even hire a graduate at, at your new position. Uh, congratulations, 136. Hey, Class 136, this is Chef Keith here and we have made it to that day. You know, uh, in the beginning of week one, you know, we all came in and I think we were all a little afraid of what was about to happen and didn't quite know what actually would happen. Uh, but I, I think that you're all pleasantly surprised to find out that um, we've got a little cooking ability under our sleeves. And, and uh, it's shown over the last seven weeks. Uh, you know, just a couple things I want you guys to continue to think about as we go out into the world and we're uh, pursuing this vision of culinary arts. Uh, so, you know, first off, you know, we talked about having that vision, the vision of uh, our future, the vision of where we want to see ourselves and uh, actually getting that down on paper to, to make it that law. You know, we talked about it's got to be on paper to make it a law. And once the law is written, the law has to be followed. So once you guys have got that vision written down, then that's our law that we're going to follow. And then, uh, you know, we need that drive that's going to help push us to, to get that vision accomplished. You know, uh, we, we know that it takes a little extra energy sometimes to, to change the plans that has happened in our lives. So uh, always continue to use that drive. Um, then the determination, uh, you know, drive and determination. Sometimes we can have the drive and then the road gets a little long, you get a little bored, you know, that Sunday drive, then you turn around and go back home because you didn't really find anything, but you gotta be determined to make sure that we're gonna use that drive effectively. That's gonna help us at the end get to that destination, which in turn is our vision, right? Um, determination, follow through, 
So we got determination. We're determined to get there, but without the follow through. That's the actual going all the way through it, going through all the problems around all the obstacles. You know, follow through is so important. That's where a lot of people tend to fail. Once they run into those obstacles, you know, they think they got a little drive and determination, but once the world really starts to happen, things start to fade and they lose the follow through. So, you know, continue that follow through. And then at the end of the day, once we're rolling, you know, guys, speed. Speed is going to be one of your key factors here. I really like to see each and every one of you be able to pick up that speed that's going to be able to help the chef when you guys get into that restaurant kitchen or that hotel kitchen. You know, we don't have all day to get that mise en place together. So I, I really want you guys to focus on speed and along with the, the, the other four uh, items that we talked about today. And I think you're going to have a wonderful career ahead of you. And I just want to congratulate each and every one of you. Hey, Class 136, congratulations. Chef Kyle here coming at you. Listen, we are so excited for you. You know, this past seven weeks, uh, it's been, you've got all gone through your challenges and it's been an honor to serve you as your instructor through these uh, past seven weeks and your, dura your duration through this program. And we talked a lot about vision and goals and passion, okay? And I just had this closing thought for you. Um, and it's the idea that passion is the fire that lights the path to purpose. And so with that thought, we want to see you walk out of our doors and begin to walk your path to your purpose. And uh, for some of you, that may be more education, right? And some of you, you might just go dive right into your career, and that's awesome. Either way, it's awesome. Uh, we, we just look forward to seeing uh, what you become. And uh, the other thing I want to leave you with is don't let go of the intensity, okay? Let that passion fuel the intensity because you got to go at it intense. Um, and we can't wait to see what you go do. So again, thank you and congratulations. And we'll see you around. Hi, everyone. My name is Kathy Jones, and I'm the executive chef at Second Helpings. So I wanted to welcome you to the graduation of Class 136. Uh, they're going to be heading out into the world. They've completed seven weeks uh, of intensive training, and they're ready to uh, go out and find those jobs. Uh, so I just wanted to uh, congratulate uh, Class 136 on everything you've done. And uh, I am going to introduce our chef instructors who are going to hand out some individual awards, and then we will uh, hand out their uh, certificates and their tokes. So uh, Chef Keith Brooks and Chef Kyle Burnett will hand out individual awards right now. All right, good afternoon. Uh, so today our first award is the certificate for perfect attendance. So we've got a seven week program and you know our class has been kind of starting midday and which gives people opportunity to get up and get in on time. But you know, life always has its opportunities to take a step in. But uh, we've got one student today that has perfect attendance, and that is McKenna Snap. on the vinaigrette practical. So during the seven week program, we go through many different techniques and we cover a lot of information and including within that set is vinaigrettes. Uh, we feel that that's a very uh, specific thing that we like to highlight. We love it so much. Salads are one of the things that require a lot of attention to detail, a lot of fresh ingredients, different knife cuts. So we teach the students on how to accentuate that as well as how to make a vinaigrette from scratch using proper methods. Then we put that all together in a practical, and then the highest scoring student receives this award. So today, it's my honor to 
give the award for outstanding performance on the vinaigrette practical to Toyin Quadri. So uh, this Night Skills Practical is um, very tedious. It's got 10 different knife cuts uh, that are in association with ACF standards. We, we teach this uh, test by the ACF standard. It's pretty intricate and, and it's time consuming and it really gives students a lot of problems from time to time. Uh, but saying all of that, we have a wonderful student today that won this award and the name is Toyin Quadri. Congratulations, Toyin. All right, next is the Ralph Cotton Sox Super Award. It's my personal favorite one to give out. Uh, this is in honor of Chef Ralph Comstock. Chef Comstock was a respected chef in Indianapolis and across the city and the country for quite some time. He was an adjunct instructor at Ivy Tech for well over 30 years. He volunteered his time here uh, at Second Helping for over 15 years. As a guest instructor, he would come in and teach the students recipes and just spend a lot of time, quality time with them, uh, developing the skills and knowledge to build great suits. So now we hold this uh, soup competition in honor of Chef Comstock, as he's no longer with us. And it's just a great day. You know, the staff love it, we love it, everybody loves it. The students have a great time with it. They blind draw the soup recipes and then prepare them and then we get to vote on our favorites. And uh, so with that being said, I have the coveted honor of awarding this award to McKenna Snap. creamy soup and you did a fabulous job so it's, it's an honor to give you that. Congratulations. Yeah. So um, we've got our last award today. Now early on in class uh, we teach the students a bit about SurveSafe which, which is about food safety, temperature controls, and how to keep things uh, stored properly in the kitchen to keep our customers safe. Uh, so, you know, this award today goes to Nicholas Cole Bean Pasta. Congratulations. Congratulations. 
concludes our graduation ceremony today. Uh, thank you very much, uh, everybody, for, for, for watching this. Uh, and thank you so much for supporting Second Helpings. Have a great day. Uh, hi, my name is Cole Dean Blossom. I'm with class uh, 136 here at Second Helpings. Um, I came here today, or I came here for this class. Um, my dad actually sent me this uh, opportunity back in May. Last, last May, I got let go from a marketing job. I just kind of wanted a different, uh, different pace, didn't want a desk job. So I was talking to him about starting my life in like the culinary arts. So he was just sending me all these different um, articles for like people looking for jobs and then he sent me this this article about second helping so i thought i would uh so i thought i would check it out so i started back in late march and uh about to graduate now learned a whole bunch of things a goal one of my first goals here was to try and learn something new every single day and i think that has definitely um been achieved um chef kyle chef keith they're great mentors to learn something new from them every single day. Um, when I graduate, I actually have a job lined up in Fountain Square. I'm going to be working at uh, La Margarita. Um, and then hopefully when they open up new restaurants, I can be um, second in command and work my way up, um, eventually being a top guy somewhere. So um, with that said, I just want to thank everybody that is a part of Second Helpings, starting off with Toyin. She always has a smile on her face. I always joke with the other people in the class. Um, I mean, she can get like, she could like total her car on her way to work and she'd still be the happiest person in the, in the office. So thank you, uh, Tanya. Um, Chef Keith, Chef uh, Kyle, thank you so much. I learned, I learned from you every single day. I'm gonna take all these recipes, I'm gonna make them in my house. Um, just moved into a new house too, so moving on up. Uh, Chef Kathy, thank you for your guidance and, and mentorship. I look forward to um, buying my fish from, from you exclusively now. So, uh, and then thank you to all the volunteers that um, make Second Helpings what it is today. Hi, my name is Robert Proctor. I am in class 136. What brought me to uh, the program is I really have a passion for cooking for food and I just really wanted to be the best cook that I could possibly be so here at Second Helping the the instructors are really really knowledgeable and really helpful they just really helped us all um, be better rounded people all together and most of all um, for me it's it's really been my sobriety and I really appreciate that. It for a while I was just lost drinking a lot and the chefs have absolutely helped me turn the whole situation around where I maybe just have one one drink a week. So it uh I'm really grateful for everyone at the program that has helped me be successful. Hi, my name is Oluwa Toyin Kwadri. My friends call me Toyin, and I'm in the class 136A. I uh, found out about Second Helping from my husband, Kevin. He didn't get to finish from here, but I'm glad I'm able to finish what he couldn't finish. Uh, first, I want to say a big thank you to God Almighty for his mercy upon my life. And I want to say a very big thank you to my wonderful chefs, Chef Kyle and Chef Kate, uh, Chef Kathy, and the lovely Miss Tanya. They've all been blessings to my life. And um, second helping, uh, attending and finishing this class has been, is, is a dream come true for me. Uh, this has been my heart desire for a very long time to get this American culinary training, and I'm glad it's coming to me on a platter of gold. I mean, I didn't know I could get a culinary training free of charge. And um, I think, I don't know what to say. I'm saying, uh, God bless all the um, uh, 
everybody that has uh, been a part of this training for me, all the management and staff, so the co-workers, the volunteers, they've all been blessings and inspiration to, uh, to my life. Most especially my chefs, they go all out to impart all this knowledge into my life, even when I'm slow to uh, catch up, to understand um, a lot of the culinary terms and uh, uh, the American slangs, I mean, the American uh, words for food, but they've been very patient with me, putting me to, pushing me ahead. And here I am today. I'm very proud of myself for my achievements to the glory of God. Turn that down a little bit. Nothing like a little pomp and circumstance to get your Friday going. Hi everyone, congratulations class 136 of the Second Helpings Culinary Job Training Program. My name is Lana Durbin Scott and I am the Vice President and General Manager of WRTV Channel 6. And we are the proud sponsors of your class. Uh, when I got to Indianapolis, uh, three years ago, the first place I visited was Second Helpings. And I was so drawn to the culinary job training program because it's one thing to offer assistance and to offer folks a hand up, but I thought the culinary job training program was so inspirational that we needed to be a part of this. And so I'm so glad Cole, Makina, Robert, and Toyin that you have made it through, that you've persevered through a pandemic. Um, I hope to hear lots of updates from our Second Helpings folks about what you do in the future. This was a commitment and you chose to make the most of it. And you have a whole group of fans now at WRTV. So thank you, keep striving, and congratulations. And now I'll play the music more. Congratulations, everyone.